Okay, YouTubers. So some of y'all know I've been uh, incubating some eggs. I've had some eggs in for a little while. And every once in a while, this only happened to me a couple times, this will happen. And essentially what this is, is the chicken is stuck in the egg. He can't break it open or he, the pattern just comes out wrong, however they break it. Normally they just break around. If you want to see an actual egg hatch, you can check out one of my hatch videos. And I've actually videotaped, it's like a 20 or 30 minute video on the chicken actually, hat, that, that egg actually hatches open and the little baby chick pops out for the first time. So... Essentially, when this happens, I kind of want to show people what to do because this was so scary for me at first when I had to first do this. You know, this egg right here has been sitting in there now for two days. And essentially, he's not going to come out. If, if you wait too long, he will actually die in the egg. This has happened to us once before where we couldn't figure out why he just sat in the egg, what was going on. He poked a little air hole. He breathe, he'll breathe through the hole. Um, however, you know, when he gets to a certain point. Um, but essentially, he will choke himself out in the egg if he can't get it open. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what I do. All you'll have to do, it's real easy, just kind of crack the egg a little bit around. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to show you um, how I do it. But you don't want... You want to make sure, I mean, this guy, this guy's ready to come out. He's just having trouble. You can see his beak's kind of caught right here. He can't get around it anymore. Um, and so when this happens, sometimes little baby chicks just need a, a little help. So we're going to help him out, and I'm going to show you guys what I do. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, just... I, I use a butter knife. I just get like a little butter knife. I use the back side of the knife and I just lightly tap. And you know, it's funny because he'll be in there tapping too, trying to do the best he can tapping because he hears it and he'll, he'll know. I, I'm really convinced that they know. I mean, because in nature, if they have trouble, a mom, moms will poke on the eggs. Other chicks will sometimes poke on the eggs. Um, he's going to be wet in there. So as soon as I pop him out, or as soon as I open the egg a little bit more, I'm going to put him back in the incubator. And we've had really good luck doing this. We've had to do it another time. And we've had a couple kind of near misses where we really had to help the chicks out. So, uh, hey, we, we just really don't want, once we put them in the incubator, um, we don't want to lose any lives. So, uh. I'm going to pop this top off now that I, you can see I've cracked all the way around it. And this is actually what they do. They will sit in the egg and they will tap on the egg the whole way around until they can push this shell off. So I'm just going to give it a little help and I'm going to show you again here in a minute. Okay, so what I have now is I've gently taken off the top part of the shell and... Uh, you can see he's still fine. He's still tweeting. He's still moving around in there. Um, I'm just going to rip this. This right here is like a little coat. Almost like a little skin coat. It's not skin, but it's like a little inner coating on the egg. So I, I don't know if they call it the membrane or what the proper terminology is for it. But we're just going to rip that a little bit and I'm going to show you that too. Okay, so now as you can see, I've just ripped off. He's still perfectly fine. He is still going to be in the fetal position at first. So he can, from here, he can get out. You can see he's, uh, he's fine. We're going to put him back in the incubator, and then I'm going to show you again right after what happens next. Okay, so now I'm back at my incubator. And as you can see, I just put him back in there. I'm going to open it up here and you all can look in here. These guys, a couple of them have been in here already for the day. So they're about ready to come out and move on to the next stage. 
this little guy, we're gonna give him a full 24 hours in here. And then he's gonna look as fluffy and adorable as these little ones. And then in uh, a day, he will be moved into here. As you can see, these are my other little guys. I'm gonna kind of bring the camera in there so you can see them. They're all doing well. Um, I don't know if you can spot that really tiny one right there. That one right up in the front. He was the other one that we had a breakout. Um, he got stuck in his shell also. Don't really know what causes this. Um, if it has something to do with the time of the year, because when the eggs are laid right now, they do sit outside for a few hours in the cold. Um, maybe even it could be up to, you know, we check them twice a day, so they could really sit up to nine hours in the cold. If the mom ain't sitting on the egg, we don't know if that has some kind of an impact yet on the shell. I number my eggs um, to try to figure out a lot of stuff that's going on with them. Um, stuff like how the hatch process, it does take 21 days. Does the 21 days start when they're laid? Does it start when they go in the incubator? These are all tests that we've been running um, to up our hatch rate. We usually put about 42 eggs in the incubator, and we usually get our best one. We've had uh, 39 of them hatch. And our worst one is actually this time of the year, but we don't know why, what it has to do with exactly yet. If it's because it's a little colder, and if any of you guys have any tips on this, let me know. And if you're thinking about getting an incubator or you want to get into this, I'm telling you, this is great. My son loves doing it. Uh, neighbors and kids love coming over and looking at them. They love watching them hatch. Um, I was so fascinated the first time I seen one of these hatch, like right there in front of me. It's pretty cool. So... I guess they're all a little camera shy right now. Oh, I just leaned on the, I just leaned on it. That kind of freaked them all out. So, but, uh, okay guys, I really hope you liked the video. Make sure you hit that like, that subscribe. And now I'm going to put a link underneath this video so you can check out some of my other great videos that people have really enjoyed. And I hope to see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.